I'd like to pivot now to talk about treatment options for head and neck cancer. What types of treatments are currently available? Yeah, so it depends on lots of factors. Um, and um, part of that is the type and the stage and the location and, and, and things like that. Um, but I, I can give some general perspectives. Um, for very early stage head and neck cancer, oftentimes um, the, the treatment is either you know, surgery or, or radiation alone, um, are oftentimes some of the treatments. Um, however, a lot of times head and neck cancer can be local regionally advanced or having spread to some of the local areas such as lymph nodes um, within the head and neck space. And there um, it's quite variable. Sometimes patients will um, get surgery first, followed by, um, depending on some of the specific factors, radiation or radiation and chemotherapy afterwards. And oftentimes for local regionally advanced head and neck cancer, um, you know, treatment can include non-surgical therapy, such as uh, chemo radiation or chemotherapy and radiation-based approaches. And then, of course, for more advanced cases, either cases of head and neck cancer that uh, either come back after treatment uh, or in cases that have spread to other parts of the body, we have other therapies such as immunotherapy or immunotherapy with chemotherapy uh, or, or some of those kinds of treatments. So generally, those are some of the options. But again, with head and neck cancer, it's extremely personalized. The most important thing is that a multidisciplinary team um, is able to review the case as a group to figure out what type of treatment approach will optimize not only the likelihood of cure and survival, but also long-term function and quality of life. And whatever treatment modality is needed to achieve those goals, um, that's what should be recommended um, with that type of multidisciplinary team. Dr. Rosenberg, you touched upon this just a moment ago, but I, I would like to ask you this question. Are the options different in any way for advanced or metastatic disease? So the answer is yes. And um, the, the, the short answer is it depends. But I think the longer answer is that we have um, therapies that have been shown in more advanced disease. And we're really, really talking about, you know, cases where cancer has come back or has spread to other parts of the body, um, where we have new treatments that help patients in that challenging situation live longer. Um, the main one has been the development of immunotherapy as a treatment option, either alone or in combination with chemotherapy. Um, and that has really improved outcomes for patients with very advanced head and neck cancer treatment cases. Mm -hmm.